We have a better understanding this evening of what happened the morning a golf cart slammed into an 87 year old man sitting outside Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist Hospital in Winston Salem. Good evening and welcome. I'm Katie Nordine and I'm Neil McNeil. Gary Kirkman was from High Point. He died from his injuries last month, a little more than two days after the accident happened. And again, he was 87 years old. Fox 8 Sarah Winkleman talked to Kirkman's son today. She was also able to look at the death certificate. So what have you learned, Sarah? Well, Neil and Katie, Timothy Kirkman feared his father would never leave the hospital. He sat by his side for days without his dad saying a word. And most of what he learned about the crash came from his mother, who was also injured. Here's the timeline of events. Gary and his wife Ruth were sitting on a bench in the valley area outside of the hospital. Ruth spotted a cart used to shuttle people from parking garages to other buildings coming straight at them. She was able to move her legs out of the way, but Gary's legs ended up getting hit so hard that the bench they were on flipped over and broke the glass window that was behind them. The couple's son did not see the crash, but confirms that he heard it as he was heading to pick up his mom and dad on April 14th. He witnessed the medical staff and security running over to help. Gary was rushed into emergency surgery, and days later, on April 16th at 7.06 p.m., he passed away. His death certificate lists the cause of death as complications of lower extremity fractures and blunt trauma of legs. We reached out to Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist for comment. They only provided this statement, which reads in part, We've reached out to the family to express our deepest condolences. The other people who were injured were treated and released. While we have every indication this was a tragic accident, we are conducting a thorough investigation to learn exactly how this occurred and most importantly, to ensure an event such as this does not happen again. And according to the family, they did not see anybody operating the golf cart that hit them. They have hired an attorney who we have reached out to several times today by phone and email to get details of the wrongful death claim. But attorney Adam Lynette is that he's expected to file. He has not, though, responded to our requests.